Jonathan Trudy, we've seen the opposition leader seizing on some comments that have been um, revealed about from Marsha Langton. Yeah. This has been in the headlines the last couple of days. Yeah, another ugly week, really, as we lead up to October 14 for this referendum. Uh, the No campaign has been seizing on comments from Indigenous academic Marcia Langton. Uh, don't forget she was the co-author of one of the leading reports that charted a design for the Indigenous voice to parliament body if it's to be enshrined in the Constitution. Uh, these comments first revealed that she called tactics from the No campaign racist and stupid. Now these comments resurfaced from 2018 in the Saturday paper where she was speaking about Jacinta Price and her mother, Bess, who was a prominent Northern Territory politician. She says Bess and Jacinta have become the useful coloured help in rescuing the racist image of these conservative outfits, and she was referring to think tanks there. This was opposition leader Peter Dutton on 2GB a short time ago. Well, it's, uh, it's not an off-the-cuff remark or something she said, you know, in passing that she now regrets. This is a common theme over a long period of time, and uh, there's something in... Uh, you know, the motivation that, uh, that I guess we, we don't know about, but it's certainly very bitter and vitriolic. I suppose Australians have got to ask themselves between now and October 14 whether somebody like Marcia Langton, as part of The Voice, whether or not that's going to help Indigenous people in... Today is the final day of Parliament before Australians head to the polls at this referendum. After Parliament rises this afternoon, there will then be this four-week or so period of campaigning without the interference of uh, the political debate happening here, Ash. The next time Parliament sits, the Monday after referendum day. So either way, that will be a huge moment for um, the politicians here to reflect on the outcome one way or another.